What's up, everybody? If you haven't seen my last video, where I kind of finally come forth that the Mustang is gone. Now, race car is gone for a little bit, but there's gonna be plenty more to come. If you want to see my last video, you know, I kind of, the only thing I want you to take away from the last video is that you just have to keep busting ass and just make it work. That is the only thing. No one's going to give you money. No one's going to hand anything out. No one's going to freaking just come forth and, and, and you know, make it happen to you. And in my, in my decision, it was my decision to let it go and bust ass. And I made money on it. And you got to keep going forward. You can't let anything bring you down. You can't let make it seem like the world doesn't want to make you have a specific thing. Now, in my case, I let it go because it was my decision. Now, if... I solely wanted to make the purpose of me having the car and keeping it, I can do it. I, there's plenty of means that I have to keep the car. Now, one thing that I wanted to do is I want to further myself with some business adventures that I got going on so that way I can get those things started, then I can go race car rather than having, putting all these different cups, filling them up a quarter of a way. I'd rather get rid of three of the cups work on this cup then I can start filling the rest of them it's a little bit of the message I can relay there but what is the safest way to sell a car in my case this is my on my experience the safest way that I did it especially on a car that you owe money on now I didn't own the Mustang I was paying for it okay I'm not a super baller like that but if you are someone that especially right now with the way some of the truck market is and especially if you own or what people are doing with like the C8 Corvettes because if even if you don't own it up front or you just ordered it you're making you got your loan through whatever someone's gonna want to offer you 95 to 100 for that car truck or whatever you got you want to be sure that you're safe so in my case this kid came all the way from Iowa and he's like hey interested blah 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 He's like, how do you want to do it? What do you want to do safest way? So what I did is I called my bank. And I called a few of my friends. And a few of my friends, they the way they did it was they took a cashier's check. So, for example, if you have a... Let's just say, for example, you owe $15,000. Let's just say $10,000 on the car. For example. And you want to sell it for fifteen. dollars Now, obviously, the number one, the best way that you can do it is if they bring the cash you go to the bank everything's cool the only wrench into that situation is that right now it is so hard to go to a bank to schedule the bank to schedule him the schedule a third party and you and a bank to go there and verify everything now that's a little bit of a task cashier's check if they do a cashier's check there is a possibility that it could be a fraudulent check now Again, you can go to the bank, make sure it's cash, make sure both of you guys are there. If it's fraudulent, you got all his information, you got his ID, make a police report, the whole nine. That's a second way to do it. The third way to do it, which is probably the safest way to do it, is do a wire transfer from bank to bank. So for example, you owe $10,000 on a car, you wanna sell it for $15,000, right? He's like, hey, well, I, well what you can do and you can set up is call your bank. Hey, do you accept wire transfers? Most of them do. So get the instructions on how to do it. Relay that information to the third party. They're probably going to give you a serial routing number, all kinds of crazy stuff to that specific account because it's not really going to be like a checking account or a savings account. It's going to be the loan account. So you give those instructions to the third party and to their bank. Go back and forth with them too. Like then when you get the word from him or the third party, like, hey, we just sent it over. You call your bank. Yep, we received funds. We're gonna wait two, three days for the money to clear. And then once this loan is satisfied, you're gonna get the payoff notice. You're gonna get a title in the mail, which I'll show you right here. You will get the title in the mail. So that's probably the easiest way. And that's probably the safest way that you can do it two door um, to make it uh, legitimate so that's what I did so he sent the wire transfer 
I waited. They got the clear. They, they got the funds. Like, hey, we're in the process. Then I got word a few days later, loan satisfied. You try and log into your account. I, I had SunTrust, for example. So I tried to log in. You couldn't. Account closed. Satisfied. Done. Then you'll get, like what I did, I got a payoff notice in the mail, followed by the title. And to me, that's probably going to be the safest way, because especially in today's world of scams and, and all of that, it's a... Uh, if you're not doing straight cash and you're not beating that person at a bank, especially if they're coming from out of state, it'll it'll work out that way. And then once again, if that wire transfer, you again, this is going to be on you and the owner. If they do the wire transfer and you let it go, let the car go, and they the bank calls you back, hey, we that that wire transfer didn't go through you are asked out the car and you still have the payment to deal with so it is going to be up to you to make sure that you do things the right way and that's what i did it kept both of us safe it kept me from interacting with his money that lump sum of money because i guess to me that was like the largest amount of money now it wasn't fifteen thousand. I'm, I'm not going to go in super detail about it but it was a considerable amount and uh that's how we did it. And uh, to, what else what else can I say about it? So if to keep it for the example, you owe ten thousand, whatever, he pays it off. You also write into a contract that hey, he is going to pay X amount of loan upon taking delivery of the car, he will give me the rest of the X amount in cash. Like I said, you want to sell a car for fifteen. 10,000 for a loan, 5,000 cash in hand. When he sees it, boom, on his way. And in my case, the car's gone. I got the title. I'm going to mail it to homeboy. And then we're going to call it a day. And that's pretty much it. That's uh, pretty much the, the, the safest way. I don't know how other people do it. I don't know of the super big baller type stuff on how people do, you know, stuff like that. But wire transfers and taking money through like Zelle is pretty uh, safe at least in that regards because you're you're the, at that point the money's not on you and I have hundreds of messages of people just lowballing offer weird offers they want to know how my day is going it was it was exhausting dealing with all of that so that's how i, I kind of put my foot down when it when it when it came to it and then i was like hey tra wire transfer the money rest of the cash in hand we do the bill sale and you'll be on your way and that's how we did it that's how i did it and now the car is gone again if you want to see a little bit in the video or in the other video that i have in the previous video you can go up and you can uh you can watch it but that's that i know a few of my friends when they owed a little bit of money on a car they took cashier's checks and they did everything that same day they took a cashier's check they deposited did a little contract and went on about their day if you're comfortable doing that by all means you can do that because a cashier's check is it's legit it'll be in your account you know right there if you if you want to do a cashier's check for the whole amount by all means do it because if you want to sell it again for example for 15 and they just give you the 15 up front i mean there you use the money to pay off the loan and then you pocket the rest you know that's another that's another way to do it or like the first way i talked about where you do just straight cash um those are just a few of the, of, of the safe ways that I would know how to deal with at least selling a car that you still owe on. And uh, obviously, if you have the title for the car and you don't owe anything, then by all means, it's good to go. You can take however much you want for the cash right there. You can count the cash. You can take the check. You can take the cashier check. They can wire you the money to your bank account if that's what you want to do, which again, is probably... probably a safe way to do it if the 
they want to wire if they want to wire you that because if they were to do a wire they would only get that probably that one time access code or whatever to do it and they will send it to you as soon as it clears you in your account hello then bye bye so that's it that's a little bit about what i went through hopefully this helps you if you go through something similar where you want to sell something either you own one whether it be a truck you want a, a truck a boat a lambo mclaren a, a clean two-door tahoe um she a little dirty but it's all right uh yeah that hopefully that helps and uh enjoy the rest of your day